My name's Amata, and in this Red Gaming Tech video, I have here with a couple of items for you, and the first on our itinerary today is regarding AMD Raven Ridge. I know it's been a lot of while since we talked about this, but a Geekbench page has just surfaced for the upcoming APUs, which of course marry Vega graphics and Ryzen CPU cores into one glorious couple. Now, the APU being tagged in the particular result, which you should be seeing on screen right about now, is the Raven Ridge based Ryzen 5 2500U which has SMT of course and has four cores and eight threads running at 2 point gigahertz as well with Vega graphics as I already mentioned. So of course you'd be seeing the results for yourself but the APU scores 3561 in single core and 9421 in the multi core. Now of course the best point of comparison here is of course going to be Bulldozer. So let's compare it to the A12-9800 which has four cores and only four threads but it does get handily smashed by the 2500U with 36% better single core and 48% better multi core. So just goes to show how far they've actually come since Bulldozer basically. And while of course the demand for APUs is obviously less than just a straight up CPU, this is still interesting information that just really puts into perspective the improvements that we've seen this generation from AMD when it comes to both APUs and of course CPUs. Now moving swiftly on from that, and apologies for tapping my mic just there, got a little bit uh, too excited with my hand gestures that I can't seem to help when I'm recording. But our second item is how we have seen a rather troubling result from Gigabyte as their motherboard shipments are declining. Now of course this could spell bad news for gamers if you know pot potentially one less competitor is a result that happens but obviously you know let's let's not talk doom and gloom just yet let's talk about facts and figures and this particular item is thanks to Digitimes where they are saying that Gigabyte is expected to see its motherboard shipments fall under 13 million units in 2017 from the 16 to 17 that it saw in 2016 and the Worrying trend actually continues into 2018 as they are predicting here that they could struggle to maintain a level of 10 million in 2018. Now this is primarily down to the dwindling desktop PC and DIY markets and this is particularly in China which unsurprisingly has a pretty significant chunk of the global market. Now this is according to industry sources and obviously Take that with a pinch of salt because this is predictions from sources that are unnamed, but still, this is their job. So it's going to be interesting to see whether or not this comes into play. But the sources say, as quoted by Digitimes, quote, In the recent two years, both desktop PC and DIY markets in China seized their growth momentum, causing Taiwan's top five motherboard suppliers to suffer significant sales declines. Among them, Asus Tech Computer managed to offset sales shrinkage in the sectors with its ROG branded gaming motherboards bearing higher average selling prices and gross margins, while MSI also successfully built a firm presence in the medium to high end gaming motherboards and graphics card markets. In contrast, the Aorus branded gaming products and graphics card did not perform as well as their competitors. So basically the TLDR of all of that is this has been affecting the top guys over in Taiwan, you know, including you know, MSI and Asus and all of that. But Gigabyte have been hit harder than the rest of those guys, you know, because MSI have been doing well elsewhere. And obviously Asus has been really pushing the ROG stuff. And Aorus hasn't really been able to keep up the pace with those guys, unfortunately, at least yet. Not yet. Now, the reason I stress that not yet statement is because Aorus is a fairly new entity. Especially when you compare it to, you know, long-standing brands like, you know, Asus's ROG and so on. So obviously it might need some time to get you know, its feet under it, that sort of thing. But it is a concerning slump because obviously, you know, this could mean one less competitor. And obviously if things get really bad, Gigabyte could, you know, pivot and perhaps withdraw. Um, not entirely, but, you know, really think, rethink what they're doing. Make less hardware, that sort of thing. It will have a big impact on the industry one way or the other. If they decide to make any big moves like that, of course, they very much could not decide to do anything. They might see if this improves. 
And when contacted by PC Gamer, Gigabyte said, quote, the PC market is slowing down, but the gaming industry is continuing to grow. Aorus is our focus mission to answer that growth and provide a unified solution that performs well with the gamer in mind. This is the first year Aorus is branded in each of our product lines, so we're keeping a close eye on the data and its reception. Now, obviously, Gigabyte are taking this slump quite seriously and are going to be preparing to, you know, obviously try and offset it and increasing with more OD and marketing and obviously really pushing the Aorus brand. But they're not they're not exiting stage left just yet. So you know that's not that's not all panic and run for the hills just yet, but it definitely raises a troubling thought of what could happen if this slump for Gigabyte continues. But I'm sure that they have something planned, whether or not it works obviously remains to be seen. But I'm sure they're just going to throw up their hands and be like, well, we tried, guys, that's it. You know, we only gave it a year compared to, you know, how long ROG's been going. But, you know, we tried, rip. No, they're not going to do that, obviously. They're going to wait and see what happens. Potentially, that could obviously worsen things if the slump continues, or they could bounce back, depending on what actually happens. Now, there is a reason also for Gigabyte to remain optimistic, other than the fact that this is fairly new and obviously slumps happen in every industry and you can't just run for the hill screaming at the sight of every single one of them. There is that John Petty research that I covered ages ago now, earlier this year, that did say that PC gaming hardware reached a record $30 billion in 2016. Now that was of course before Ryzen and Threadripper and all of this new stuff that's happening now. This report was fairly early in the year, if I recall correctly. So, you know, they're looking at that going, okay, you know, we, we saw a bit of a slump here, but, you know, gaming is continuing to grow when it comes to PC. So let's really push our gaming brand and get back on the horse, basically. So, you know, obviously, we're going to have to watch this one closely. Whatever happens with them, it would potentially have, well, it could, it will rather, have ripples on the industry Either way, you know, unless they continue to do well, then obviously that's different, but you get what I'm saying. An interesting one to watch, either way, to be sure. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.